Thank you and good night, brother. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank I'll... you very much for learning from. Learning from you is always a always, always a great experience, sir. And you've enjoyed the story yeah. too. And sir, we are Thank grateful you, sir. to you that you have, you have managed some time for us. Okay. Now I would like to request one of our guest speaker today, Dr. Muhammad Bangfuzur Rahman, to discuss on our webinar topic. Can you please unmute your microphone? Yes. Um, Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to you all. Uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, I'd like to thank the World University of Bangladesh for inviting me, particularly Dr. Salim Ahmed, Head School of uh, Business, World University of Bangladesh. I'm extremely privileged sharing the platform with Professor Abdul Manan Choudhury. Uh, Professor Dr. Rabin Kai and uh, Mr. Ujjal Yaman Choudhury. Ladies and gentlemen um, who are listening out there, um, uh, what I'm going to share tonight, probably nothing new, but might be in some use to remind us about the importance of time management in the challenging time we ever had. Well, um, we are facing a global health crisis, one that is spreading human sufferings, infecting the global economy and upending the people's life. COVID-19 pandemic hits hard to all industries, but some found better alternatives to run than the rest. I would say education is one of the industry that is getting an alternative in, um, called online teaching and learning. Of course, um, transitioning to online learning can take time for many of us to get used to it. Hence, I believe effective time management is crucial for online learning. As online classes don't necessarily have the structure of a traditional classroom, and surely students are required to plan for lessons and assignments accordingly. So indeed, what I'm, when it comes down to time management, there is no perfect recipe. I mean, uh, by and large, there is no one strategy fits all solution to manage the time well. In a year of unprecedented challenges, we all need to get used to the new normal and need to learn all the possible online best skills, I believe now more than ever. So in actual fact, learning time management method is a skill and definitely no different than learning speak another language. So if we want to get it better in it, definitely we can. So that is the motivations. If we really want to get it better in it, at it definitely we can, right? But of course, we've got to be understanding some of the important aspects of time before we understand the time management. Basically, um, you know, everyone gets 24 hours a day. Well, there are people who make millions a day while some of us struggle to have three times meal on the table. We, we can't stop a moment, nor can store it because time is a very unusual commodity. It's unlike a, a, a normal commodity that you can buy whenever you have money. So it's a very unusual commodity that you can't do about it. You can't get back today. You might get, I mean, tonight, so for example, you might get another night similar to tonight, but you won't be able to get in back exactly tonight. So we can't get back even a second of today, right? So every now and then we feel like time passes at varying speed, but actually it doesn't. When pandemic, we are sitting uh, at our house, we feel like, you know, you know time is passing very slow. No, we can feel it, you know, we're gonna go out, we're gonna enjoy our time and all sort of things. It seems like time is really not passing it, but actually it doesn't have a different speed. It actually doesn't, it, is, it always uh, speed in the same space, right? So we gotta be understanding about time management because I believe, uh, of course, there are some debate about time management. There is a school of thought. There are different school of thought. Uh, who believe time management is a myth uh, it is it's not something that is true but yet uh, let, let us not get into that debate yet so when it comes to time management how do we define the time management what do you mean by time management so basically it's a process that gets pure through planning setting goals analyzing of time spent uh, monitoring scheduling and prioritizing but of course holistically time management is a fallacy is a myth right 
long story short, I would say no matter how organized we are, there are always only 24 hours in a day. Time doesn't change. All we can actually manage is ourselves and what we do with the 24 hours that we have. So that is the myth of uh, the time management is, is because we, we all have 24 hours. Doesn't matter whether you are Bill Gates, when you are Zuckerberg, you know, all sort of people who are earning millions a day, they can't uh, buy a single second. Right. So th that is that is one of the things that we got to be understanding. So, however, what we believe that if we can follow some strategies, we can get better using our time effectively. We can't manage our time. Definitely, we can manage ourselves to fit into the time to get use the best of it and make it effective. Right. So an important aspect of time management is basically plan ahead. And if you want to plan ahead, definitely got to be following up some, uh, you know, hicks and ups, some uh, list of things, right? So the first thing that we, we, we should be doing, I think, as students, uh, I'll be talking about, I mean, mostly about among us, but let, let's talk about my, uh, my dear juniors today, my students right out there who are listening to me. So the first thing that we got to be uh, doing is basically about setting a goal. So to start managing time effectively, I believe we need to set goals. Once we know where we are going, we can then figure out what exactly need to be done and in what order. Right. We tend to neglect goal setting because we fail to consider that a little time and effort are put now saves huge time. Effort and uh, definitely frustrations in the future. But one thing we got to be remembering, uh, dear juniors, please do remember just one of the reasons why many students feel stuck is that they just stop dreaming. They fail to set the goals. They, they, they're not sure where they're heading to. They never listen to their dream. They're not driven by their dream. So that is what frustrated them, demotivated them. Look, sometimes we, 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 we spend uh, hours and hours on Facebook. What motivates us to do that? Maybe we just keep, we just uh, kick away our, our stress. Maybe so you, you just want to see other people's uh, fantastic life and so on and so forth. So sometimes we don't listen to our dream. We don't, we don't do what we love. We do something that has been instructed by someone. My dad, my parents, the society, all expected they're asking to do so. You know, if you become a doctor, you, you will be earning a lot, you'll get a prestige in the society and all sort of things. I mean, the society is the one defining my goals, defining my, uh, you know, destinations. So that is what sometimes demotivate us you know it, it doesn't make us to act on the things that we would love to do right we might have a lot of i mean everyone i believe everyone has a moonshot in, in, inside our heart but many of us we can't really act on it right so therefore we, we gotta be uh, you know uh, thinking about or uh, you got to rethink that we should not stop dreaming the second thing is that we got to be tracking our activities. If we really want to set our goals and we do what we want to achieve at the end of the day, then we got to be tracking our activities. If we do not know what, where we are spending our time for, then we may not be able to uh, figure it out, to measure it out or to plan it out, right? So in order to set the improvements, we first need to observe our current habits. We can write down how many hours a week we spend on the activities like attending class, if you are working part time, then you know list it down how, how many hours you spend for part time, sleeping, uh, traveling. But uh, no, due to COVID nineteen, we're not really traveling traveling for class, right? Back and forth. So that is one of the way we can save our time, right? And uh, of course, uh, preparing for assignments, preparing for uh, all sort of quizzes, watching TVs, uh, cleaning our rooms, laundry, and all. And above all else, is surfacing the net, the Facebook watching YouTube, video games, all sort of things. So we got to be listing it out how much time we're spending for all sort of things. Guess what? There are only 168 hours a week. But we got to be managing it. We have a lot of works to do. The pandemic might stop many of the things that uh, are, are, are getting slow or we might not be able to go out, but we got to be living it again. So if we want to live a life, we got to be working on it, right? So 180 hours is never enough. So we got to be planning for it, right? 
However, the purpose of tracking our activities is to basically identify who or what is stealing our time. Sometimes, you know, we're not sure. People are stealing our time or maybe something is stealing our time. Facebook is stealing our time. Instagram is stealing our time. We got to be discover it first before we, we make a plan, before we plan it out, right? The third thing is basically we need to prepare to do to do list, I would say, to do list, right? What I'm going to do tomorrow. Let's chunk it out to a, a, a piece, a bit and bite. What I'm going to do tomorrow. So what I would say is that each night before we go off to bed, we should write the list of, let's say, five most important tasks that we have to do tomorrow. So we should number them in order of importance and urgency. For example, uh, the urgent and important, right? The, 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 the one that we rank number one can be urgent and important. Remember, things get urgent either because we could not foresee or we have left to the last minutes. Sometimes we complain, you know, uh, yeah, of course, the pandemic and so many other things that we can't foresee. We're not sure it's going to come. So things become urgent. But many things, many of our activities, many of our tasks get also urgent because we leave it for the last minute. Right. So the second thing that we can focus on is that not urgent, but important. There are many tasks, there are many skills that we can learn which will work for our future goals, which will help us to achieve our dream, right? Maybe many skills, which may not be very urgent for now, but it will work in future. So they are not urgent, but very important, right? And of course there are work that are urgent, but not important. We always face, I'm sure being a student, right? Uh, my dear juniors, definitely you also do face the same thing, urgent, but not important. A common source of uh, such interruption, I would say interruptions, is from your uh, from the from the from your friends from your school, right? Sometimes what happens is that they just come simply and just ask, "Can you do it for me?" But I would say sometimes it is appropriate to say no to the people or encourage them to solve problem by themselves. Else they will keep coming and uh, passing over their work to you. So it's not bad to say no politely. If you find that work is not urgent, sorry, uh, urgent but not important for you, right? The last one, of course, uh, we call noise. This means not urgent, not important. Sometimes, of course, again, if possible, we can just politely say no and firmly, not only politely but say firmly. Then maybe uh, people wouldn't be asking for that. Sometimes, what happened? Our friends uh, asking for hanging out with them, you know, very often, maybe once or twice a week. You know, and then, you know, because of friendship and all sort of things, sometimes we can't really say no. So what do, we, what do you do is that, OK, all right, I keep going, you know, spending my time and all sort of things. But then I think one part of time we've got to be learning how to say no. So this is a skill. Saying no is a skill. So you've got to be learning this skill. But of course, we have to be very polite and firm, because if I say I'm very busy, then I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm going somewhere and having fun with someone else. If that person ever noticed me that, oh, he said he's a busy, but now he is having fun with someone else. So, of course, he will not believe me. But if I say I'm busy, I'm doing something and I truly do something and he observe or he noticed, then he will say, all right, I shouldn't be disturbing Mufus anymore because he's really um, up for something. So I think we got to be polite when he said no and we have to be firm. Right. Of course, the first thing in the morning that we should look at the task listed right at the most important and the urgent and then start working on it until it is completed and then start um outside checking it how much you completed of course um after completing the first one then you got to be tackling out your tax task number two and then three then the list goes on at the end of the day uh, even though we can't finish or maybe we can finish only two or three tasks of our list but it assures that we have completed most of the important task of the day. So that is the importance of uh, making a to-do list. We will not miss out the most important and urgent thing. But if we do not make a to-do list, what happens is that sometimes uh, we, we, we miss out the most important, the urgent things. We might be missed out that we got to be paying the tuition fees today. Maybe I supposed to be submitting the assignments outline today. Now, if we do not really list them up, Sometimes we miss out the urgent one. 
And if you miss the urgent and important one, the definitely, you know, we're going to regret for it, right? We can't, as I said, the time doesn't really come back and you got to be taking a lot of hassles, right? And the fourth thing, of course, um, it comes about uh, stopping the procrastination, delaying things over any task, right? So that is somehow uh, became our, many of our habits are basically to delay things. What is procrastination? Is basically when you put off things that, we should be focusing on right now, but uh, usually in favor of doing something that is more enjoyable, we are just simply leaving them up, right? I mean, look at sometimes uh, maybe our assignment is due tomorrow, but I'm I'm watching a movie, you know, uh, or I'm I'm just uh, scrolling the Facebook wall or uh, and looking at the, all the newses. And I'm, I'm getting in touch with that, and I'm somehow delaying the assignments to the last minute. And when I, I'm delaying my work, the regular work that's supposed to be done by tomorrow, and I leave it to the last minute, to the you know fourth hour, right? So what happened? It became urgent. And the most important thing, which is urgent, and you are giving less time at the end of the day, we get less marks. So that is one of the, uh, the, the downside of the procrastinations. When you keep delaying our things, doesn't matter how smart you are, what happened at the end of the day, sometimes, we might be very smart, but if we do not spend the right amount of time for doing some work and we leave it to the last minute, then we won't be able to produce a quality work. So definitely that sometime, you know, discredit or sometime, uh, you know, drop down our grades, right? And of course, you know how important are the grades. Uh, although uh, uh, many people said grades is not important, but at the end of the day, you know, in this competitive era, when you go for, when you apply for a job um, to any industry, the first things that they're going to look about is that your CGPA, right? So that's why I think it's very important not to procrastinate, right? But sometimes we do, we, we keep delaying things. Just remember that every one of us has a moonshot inside us. And many of us die with the moonshot because we refuse to act on it. We might have a big plan. We always have a big dream. Uh, give me a name. Give me a person who doesn't have a dream. Almost every single person has a dream, has a big dream, and he can do something. He can make something different. But the only things that making them not being able to do is that he never acted on it. So we might have a great plan, but if we do not act on it, it will never come true. But if we try, if we go for it, it might not be true. It might not be actual. It might not come to my life, but at least I know I failed. But when I don't give it, you know, uh, uh, or, uh, uh, my time, or when I don't act on that dream, then definitely there's no chance, zero chance. The, the probability is zero here, right? You won't be getting it. So I think we got to be very careful about um, when you set the, uh, uh, the goals then we have to listing out the activities that we're supposed to be doing. And then once we list out all the things that we should be doing, then definitely we'll know that what are the activities, what are the tasks basically taking most of my time, and it can be ranking it out. Then see, we have to find the leakage. You know, uh, you know sometimes what happened, we might have a, uh, a lot of resources, but if we find our leakage out there, so definitely we're not going to uh, get the best out of it if we have a leakage. So we gotta be finding out the leakage, where uh, you know who is stealing my time, what work is basically, what platform is basically taking my time. Of course, um, there are some important things like uh, you know you gotta be spending uh, enough time for sleeping, we gotta be spending enough time for exercise, and all sort of things. But sometimes we are allocating uh, too much time for net surfing, Facebooking, so we forget to you know spend on time for exercise. So if we do not really put time on exercise, definitely that not gonna be very supportive uh, to, uh, to, to really learn uh, things and uh, our brain might not work the way that it's supposed to be working because it lack of exercise as well, right? So what I'm gonna, um, I mean, conclude with before I will take some questions later if there are. Um, so I I'd like to say my, um, you know, dear fellow juniors who are listening to me tonight, uh, the, the first uh, things that you can do to start managing your time is basically um, to make a to-do list for tomorrow 
before we go off to bed, before you go off to bed. So get your time managed well, get ahead. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Mahfuzur Rahman. You have explained everything very clearly. And your students and audience, I guess uh, all of you have learned about the importance of goals, dreams, and act accordingly to those things. And in fact, I also need to work more with urgent but not important tasks. It's a very important thing to learn in life. And now I would like to request Dr. Robin K for, for discussing on our today's topic, effective time management for online education. All right, thank you. Um, I am going to share my screen because I have a few slides I want to share. And just a second.